Wait a minute. Oh, yes. First cast over here. I got one. Oh, Ooh, this one, it doesn't feel too bad. Oh, no, it doesn't feel bad. Oh, oh, my goodness. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Tyler Goes Fishing. I'm Tyler, and today I'm going fishing. So this is something I wanted to start on my channel. It's kind of like a new series about trying out small bait makers baits, like, uh, you know, not not necessarily the big ones like Yum and Guggen and all that good stuff, but like actual just like an individual person in the garage making lures, right? To buy their product and then try it out, give them a little bit of exposure, give them a little bit of money, especially in these times, a little bit of money to a small business would be great. So I think this is gonna be the very first episode of that and I'm gonna be trying out uh, a bait that uh, you've seen me use a couple times before, but I've never fully just hardcore tried to catch a fish on it before. Uh, for, or dedicate an entire video to it really is what I'm trying to say. So you know what, let me put the GoPro on so I can actually have both my hands free so I can show you what I'm working with. All right, it'll be this craw that I try out, uh, made by my fishing buddy, 804 Fish Ninja Lures. He's a local guy. Let's see here, let me get the pack out of my pocket. So a pack of 10 of these costs me $5. And like I said, uh, I'm definitely gonna be paying for these baits that I use, because again, I want to help a small business. And I feel like I could be more honest with my review of them, as opposed to if I got something for free, I'd feel like obliged to talk good about it, you know what I mean? But I don't, I don't wanna do that. I'd rather keep myself genuine and honest. So I'm back at some ponds I haven't been to in actually a little while, but and you know what's strange? Um, I'm not exactly matching the hatch uh, because I don't think there are crawdads in here. So I guess that might be even a bigger test for the Fish Ninja Ned Craws here. Uh, to see how good they work in a place where there's actually not any craws. There's definitely a lot of critters that the, the, the bass eat in here, frogs, bugs, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, we'll see if they go after the Ned Craw. Now that I'm here, it looks like water clarity is actually really good. I can see a couple feet at least, which means the bass can probably see a couple more feet than that. All right, first cast. I'm using the oldest pole I own, Shakespeare Excursion Graphite. My dad gave this to me so many years ago. I still use it. Different reel on it now though, a lose reel. Ooh, gunk, gross. Probably gonna have to deal with that all day, aren't I? Yep. It's like grass or something, some sort of algae or whatever, I don't know. I ain't no geologist. Is it geologist? Is geologist the study of like the ground or am I thinking of biologist? Maybe biologist, I don't know. I'm just a stupid fisherman. You probably can't see it on camera, but I can see it on the bottom right now. It looks pretty good. The, the claws, they have a good movement. And the color, I think it's candy apple red or something like that. Oh, no, 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 sorry. I got it completely wrong. It's rhinestone red. That's right. I always forget. I keep having to ask him 45 million times what the color is because I can't forget. Keep forgetting. Rhinestone red. And I don't know how to spell rhinestone. He spells it in a different way. I don't know. Oh yeah, and if I fail to mention, uh, it is a beautiful Saturday. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, happy belated Thanksgiving. It was a couple days ago. It's the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope you all had a good time. Hope you all stayed safe. This being probably the weirdest Thanksgiving ever to exist ever in our lifetime. It's, I think, about 60 degrees right now. A little breezy, but not too bad. I'm in shorts and a long sleeve. I feel pretty good though. Hoping the bass bite is still on. Yeah, the water's actually super clear. Still a bunch of trash in it. I don't see why. Uh, I, don't, I don't feel like people litter too much over here. I just feel like it blows in with wind and stuff. And then gets trapped in the water. I don't know. One thing I have to remember, because I'm so impatient sometimes, is to dead stick it which means to just let it sit for longer than normal. I have a habit of just like tap, 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 pause, but then the pause is two seconds, and then tap, 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 and the pause is two seconds. I mean, usually it does me pretty well, but like, I, uh, you know, I, I feel like I could definitely slow it down a little bit, but my, I'm so impatient. I just want to keep tapping it up closer to me and then recast it and... Just be a little bit more patient, bruh. A little more patient. Oh, hey, there's a, one of those blue... I don't know what you call them, the blue her herons? I don't know. The guys who eat the little fish. 
think it was one of those guys one time I was at, I was at a place I was I was fishing for bluegills and I caught like five bluegills and I fed it to him he actually f flew over to me from the other side of the lake small lake but he still flew over there. he could see that I caught one and then he landed like 20 feet away from me and I just threw it to him and the, he stabbed it into the ground <laughs> he stabbed it with his beak and then just swallowed it and he did it like four more times with four more bluegills that was fun I didn't have my camera that day I wish I did I was just out there fishing for fun sometimes I fish for fun without bringing the camera with me just for my own sanity I don't have to worry about batteries I don't have to worry about is the camera rolling? I can just enjoy fishing. So I guess that's a good question for all my el my fellow YouTube fishing creators. How often do you go fishing without your camera, just kind of like for your own sanity? Just just so you can enjoy fishing 100%. Don't mind, don't get me wrong, I love filming it and doing all this stuff, but sometimes you just want to do it without having to worry about the filming part of it. So that, that's a question out there for the other creators. How often do you do that? Or do you ever do it or not ever do it? I don't know. Feel free to comment below. I think the Ned Rig has like become probably one of my favorite just because it does produce fish. It's also really easy to rig up, you know. It's really easy to lose them too, obviously. They just get snagged so easily. I was fishing the other day, I was trying to make a video at a place and I couldn't because I caught like one tinky little bass so I, I scrapped the video. I lost like five Ned Rigs. Wait a minute. Oh no, wait. No. I thought it had a bite. It started moving sideways. That's a good sign, right? <laughs> when the bait is moving sideways. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes, I knew it. I had one. I knew it. It's a little dude. Just a little dude. Okay, he's pretty though. A little dinky. Wow, he looks nice. He got, oh, there's something up with his tail. Yeah, something up with his tail. It's short and stubby. I don't know if he's got something up with it. Maybe he broke his tail at some point. Nice. Well, heck yeah, that is one for the Fish Ninja Lures. That's enough photos, fella. There we go, nice. One last look, let him go. Righteous. Heck yeah, boy. Boom, one so far. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Like I mentioned, I'm not exactly matching the hatch here because I'm pretty sure there's no crawdads in here. At least I've never seen one. It's mostly just frogs and other little critters and lizards and other stuff that they feed on. Frogs have done me very well here. Topwater frogs. Mostly because there's a lot of frogs that breed and spawn in these ponds, but no crawdads as far as I've seen. So that's, that's even more impressive for these baits is that uh, they catch fish in a place where fish aren't normally, <laughs> don't normally see that type of bait. Ooh, yes, we got another one, yes, yes. This one's a little better, this one's a little better. Ooh, ooh, he's fighting real good, ooh. He's actually not that bigger, wow. He's not that much bigger, but he did fight really well. Holy crap, that's, that was like two casts later, I think. Maybe even just one cast later. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh man, they're stacked up over here, I guess, boy. A little teeny dinkers over here, heck yeah. Oh, come on, you son of a gun. Ooh, that got you through like, that's kind of like through the gill. He's, he's definitely a little bigger. He's got a normal tail, tail, you can tell that. The other guy definitely had some sort of stunted tail. This guy, that got him right through the plate. That's gonna be hard to get out. Oh, you son of a gun, come on. Oh, the bait came off. Shoot. That's my bad. Uh oh, come on. Get out of his mouth. Get out of his mouth. Let me get my pliers. Yeah, I was... Yeah, it came off. But you know what? I did catch two fish, so that's something. There we go. I had to rip it out. Sorry, buddy. You're fine. You're gonna live. Bye-bye. Oh, 
me grab this. So yeah, in my attempts to uh, in my attempts to get it out of his mouth, I ended up ripping right through it. Which I mean, it's a soft plastic, so that's how it does. So I'm not really gonna complain about the quality because like I was ripping it to shreds, trying to get it out of that mouth. In fact, it looks like I bent the hook a little bit, yeah, inward to uh, get it out of its mouth. It was in there really good, so that's okay. Let's put a new one on there. That's why you buy them in packs, right? So that might have been back to back. I don't know. I, I wasn't even paying attention. There might have been a cast in between, but almost back to back at least. Fish off of the Ned Craw. Is it still sharp? Absolutely is. Yep. All right, let's go for fish number three. Man, if I get three fish, that would be a pretty good day. <laughs> I've, heck, if I just get two any bass, I consider it a good day. Oh, fish. Small guy, teeny, teeny fish. Teeny. Look at it. <laughs> awesome. That's the third dinker in like 10 minutes. The third dinker in like 10 minutes. Nice. Heck yeah, right there. Little dinker. Well, bye. Hey, that's three fish. That's three points. Four, 804 fish ninja lures. Boom. Mm. Little dinkers. That's all there really are in this pond though. I think the biggest I got out of these ponds was like two and a half, and I've never seen anything close to that again. I hope the sun isn't screwing up your vision, guys. I can, I know the sun is like reflecting off the water and it's probably screwing up your vision, but like, sorry, this is a good spot to fish, so I'm gonna continue fishing here. I'm getting low on line on this. I might have to re-spool this. Soon, yeah, I'm getting really low. Eight pound mono on here. I use it a lot for Ned Rigs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's a bad snag. That's not a bad snag. Shoot. It's gonna snap, it's gonna snap, it's gonna snap, it's gonna snap. Yep. There it goes. Oh well. It happens. That's the price you pay for Ned Rigs, you know? They get snagged like every five seconds. All right, I'm gonna give this corner of the pond a little bit of a break because I caught three fish from it in a short amount of time and uh, nothing seems to be biting anymore, so I'm gonna try somewhere else. Wait a minute. Oh, there we go, fish. Ooh, this might be the best one of the day so far. Ooh, nice. Yep, this is definitely the best of the day. This is the biggest of the day. Heck yeah, come on. Get over here, fella. Get over here, fella. Oh, it flew out of his mouth. God dang. That was probably at least 12 inch or two. Uh, tried to boat flip him. It failed came out I guess he wasn't hooked as well as he could have been but that was actually the first cast on this side of the pond so that's pretty hilarious okay well so I am recording right yeah yeah um, that's four bites but only three catches so All right, guys, I am back at my car. <clears throat> I'm gonna switch out rods. I'm gonna switch out from my, my spinning reel here that I have been using so far in this video to my main bait caster. Uh, I feel like, let me see here. I feel like ever since that last snap off and I lost a decent amount of line, uh, with it being such low amount of line in here, it's actually really hard to cast it any good distance easily enough. 
So uh, probably when I'm done shooting this video, gonna stop and get more eight pound line for this reel. But I'm gonna switch it over to my bait caster and uh, probably be able to get more distance when casting. So that's what I'm here to do. Cut this off of the spinning reel. gonna lie it's turning into a little bit of a grind now um, it's probably been an hour and a half now without a fish or a bite I uh, not only circled this pond once I circled the other one and I tried one of the other smaller ones to no success uh, so I'm gonna circle this one again and eventually work my way over to that one corner where I got my only three fish that I landed so let's hope that I can get at least a couple more before I gotta go. You can see the sun is definitely getting low probably, but um, still got a couple hours probably. Ooh, fish. Yes, there we go, yes, there we go. Fish on, fish on. Here we go, biggest of the day, I think. Heck yeah. Got it out. Only minor damage, I'm sorry. You know what, probably the best of the day. Heck yeah. It's about as good as you can get in these ponds, but you know what, I'll take these all day, you kidding me? Four of these so far, heck yeah. Let them go. All right, back at the lucky corner, I guess I should call it today. Three here, one over there. Let's see if I can get one or two more. We'll see, won't we? Yes, we will. We will see. Wait a minute. Oh, yes! First cast over here. I got one. Oh, Ooh, this one, it doesn't feel too bad. Ooh, no, it doesn't feel bad. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh, definitely. This is not bad at all. Oh my gosh. Please, boat flip be okay. Yes! Holy crap, dude. This is an unusually sized fish for this pond. This is an unusually sized fish for this pond. This is great. Wow. Holy moly. I gotta weigh this guy. Wow. Yeah. And I do actually have my scale on me this time. I'm almost positive anyways. Yep, I do have the scale, thank God. How many times on this channel have you seen me forget my scale when I catch a good fish, right? Too many, right? Uh, I don't know, maybe two. 2.09, heck yeah. I was dang close, man. I'm getting better at this. 2.09, that is and a very impressive fish for this little pond. They, they, you can almost never get one this size in here. That is great, you deserve some photos. Wow, this is a great surprise. This, I mean, I, the day was already worth it with just the four fish, but this fifth fish, two pounder, is a great way to like finish it off. I'm not gonna finish it off, I'm gonna keep fishing, but if I were to finish right now, this would be a solid way to finish it. <laughs> There it goes. Heck yeah. Are you kidding me? Okay, so that would be a great way to finish the video, would be with a two pounder like that. But uh, I'm not going to finish with it because I, I want to catch more fish, right? I still got a little bit of daylight left. You can see the sun is not quite down yet. And uh, you know, this is probably the best time of the day to fish too. It feels good out. It's chilly, but not too bad. You know, uh, it's been a good day. It's been a good day. Off of the 804 Fish Ninja Lures, man. Heck yeah. You've seen him on the channel a couple times. I went fishing with him before. Cool guy. It's like a side gig for him, you know, which is probably true for most of these, the people that I will include in this series of, of, of small bait makers. Uh, you know, it's probably just their side thing that they're doing in their garage or whatever. So I just want to help small businesses out, fellow anglers and all that cool stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get this lure back out there and see if I can catch another one. 
Oh, fish. Yes, another one, yes! Heck yes. It's a lot smaller, but another one. A little dinker, but yeah, heck yeah. Look at this. Fish number six. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Back to back cast too, man. This is the lucky corner. Like today it is at least. There we go, got you out, you little dinker. I'll let you back in. Sorry about all that disturbance. So yeah, that's done for. I mean, I'm going through a lot of them, but they are catching fish, so it's worth it to me, you know? When it comes to soft plastics, you know, if, if this one even got me one fish, it served its purpose, you know? So that's six fish, y'all, six fish. It's just a good day, you know? I've been here plenty of times and gotten skunks. This just happens to be a good day, you know? Another fish, heck yes. Heck yes. It's another little dinky, little dinky dude, but they are stacked up in this corner, man. Actually, it's not too bad. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. You might be a little too big to count as a dink, but. There we go, you came out easy. Yeah, I'll, I'll classify you as a dink, but you are fish number seven, my friend. They are stacked up in this corner, and it's also that time of the day, I guess, so they're really starting to pick up their bite. So that's fish number seven, heck yes. Oh, I haven't had a good bass day in a while. Uh, well, that was one heck of a day. Uh, seven bass, uh, one really good one, the two pounder, that was nice. That's very unusual for this spot. Uh, heck yeah, man, 804 Fish Ninja Lures, boom. The Ned Rig did it today for me. So again, this series is just about supporting small businesses, uh, trying out uh, different new lures that other people make. I'm gonna start a whole series. This is the first one of it, and I can't wait to try to look up more, uh, more small businesses, more small bait makers, and see what they do. Like I said before, they got, there's some fantastic artists doing some great paintings on crankbaits, and I, I think I'm gonna support some of them too. I follow them on Instagram, they're great. So if you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the, the description of, uh, uh, for his Instagram. You can go check him out. Uh, the bag of 10 uh, of uh, the craws that I had, I believe were uh, $5 for the bag of 10. Uh, definitely worth it, as they've gotten me seven bass today. Uh, would have been eight if I didn't lose that one, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to head home. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, I can tell you that. I uh, want to thank you all again for all the support you've had lately. Uh, if you would, like and subscribe. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Peace out.